What is up everybody and welcome to the Financial Wolf channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing yet another phone flipping vlog. You guys seem to enjoy the last one. So I decided to make another one for you guys. So right now it is Monday, almost five o'clock. I didn't really do too much when I got home from school. I did some homework and then I did some basic work with uh, my new business and I also actually ended up selling an iPhone 7 Plus. So for the rest of the day, I don't really have too much planned. I'm probably not going to be doing a whole lot of work with my businesses. Today is kind of a free day for me. I got a lot done on Sunday. I mean a lot of stuff. I did a lot of work with the new business and I did a lot of work with phone flipping. I picked up a few phones. I sold a few phones. So Sunday was a very productive day for me. So I decided to kind of take the day off on Monday, not do too much work. I'm probably actually going to be going to a water park I might film a little bit there kind of just some fun stuff for the vlog so I might film a little bit there I'll pick up the camera there and then that'll pretty much be it for today and tomorrow I will get back to the business grind and I'll be filming a lot for you then Okay guys, so I am back home. I hope you guys enjoyed that last clip. I know it was pretty lame, but I didn't really know what to film at the water park and I at least wanted to film something for you guys. Anyways, it is currently the next day. I am back home now. It is Tuesday, the day before I am uploading this video and I have a lot of stuff to do with my businesses today back on the grind. Yesterday was kind of an off day. I don't do that too often, but I had planned to go to the water park anyway, so I decided just to do a lot of stuff on Sunday, take Monday off, and then go back to work Tuesday. So I have to package and ship the 7 Plus I sold, and then I have a business meeting with a client for the new business, and then uh, I'm probably going to go pick up a phone later today. Maybe not. Uh, it's kind of a busy night, and I've been focusing on this new business more than phone flipping, but I've still tried to pick up a phone almost every day. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just got back from the post office. I ended up shipping out that iPhone 7 Plus 128 gigabyte bad ESN. I ended up selling it for $300 on Mercari, which is a very good price for it. I bought it for $200, sold it for $300, so I made a $66 profit on it after fees and shipping. I know I mentioned I was going to try local sales from now on, but I'm going to continue to sell my bad ESN devices on Mercari. So that about wraps up the vlog part of today's video. I know the vlog portion of the video wasn't too interesting this time, but in these past two days, I haven't really gone out and done too many things with phone flipping. Monday was kind of a day off for me, and Tuesday, I was bombarded with things to do for the new business. Okay, everyone, so now at the end of today's video, I want to go over how you guys should be spending and budgeting your phone flipping income. So this doesn't just apply to phone flipping. It applies to any business in general. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how I budget my income and how you guys should be doing it so that you're enjoying your money, but you'll also have the capability of investing in your future and also saving money for new business ventures when they come around. So with my phone flipping profits, I tend to spend about 10% of them every Every single month on average so I don't have any fixed expenses at all because I'm currently living with my parents so the 10% of my income that I do spend is purely for luxuries as I said before I am only spending 10% of my income 
which leaves the remaining 90% just to be strictly saved. So about 50% of my income is saved into a checking account. And that money is pretty much just used to buy more phones. And the reason I am saving so much money in a checking account is because phone flipping is a relatively cash intensive business. It requires you to have a lot of cash on hand because you're constantly buying inventory, constantly spending hundreds of dollars every single day. So you want to be able to hold, you know, a good amount of inventory. And that is why you want to really build up your capital as you start making money from phone flipping. So the money that I save in a checking account can also be used to start another business. Like for example, I recently started another business. And if that business needs, you know, more startup money, I would be able to pull it out of that checking account, not have to worry and be able to invest it in the new business. The remaining 40% of my income is invested into a stock market brokerage account. So I am saving 40% of my income every single month and investing it into the stock market. My long-term goal with that money is to purchase a piece of real estate. You know, by the time I am around 18 years old, when I can actually build credit and get started investing in real estate. So I am saving a substantial amount of my income into a stock market brokerage account so that I can invest it and then use that money later to buy a piece of real estate that will produce me income every single month. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it brought you guys a ton of value. I know it was kind of a different video, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea that are making money from phone flipping, how you should be saving and investing that money. So it is okay to spend a little bit of that money, but I never recommend that you spend a hundred percent of your income. That is never good over the long term. You want to build wealth. And if you're spending a hundred percent of what you make, you will not build wealth in the long term. With that all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today video. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the YouTube channel to be in the first 500 subscribers to the Financial Wolf channel.